This is what we get for no snow on trick or treat. Breaking record. I think they're just now uh, plowing the streets. It's the calm after the storm. It's a marshmallow world for sure. <laughs> South Central Alaska is hunkered down following two record-breaking snowfalls in the past five days. I've lived here all my life, and I haven't seen the roads this bad, I don't think. It's the most snow ever to fall in Anchorage during the first two weeks of November. We've cleared our driveway, but it's like going to fill up again in a few hours. So. With all hands on deck. We've been working around the clock since, since Monday. We've called all of crews in. Here's to hoping for a long break in the snow and a chance to dig up. You're watching Alaska's News Source. Tonight, Anchorage's mayor declares a state of emergency after more than 17 inches of snow fell in the last two days and more than 25 inches this week, breaking multiple records. Schools closed, thousands of people remain without power and snow plows working around the clock. We have teams stationed around Anchorage tonight to bring us the latest on the plowing operations, those power outages, school closures, and tomorrow's commutes. We'll head first to Chief Meteorologist Melissa Fry for what more we can expect from this storm. Melissa. Yeah, Mike and Maria, good news is most of that heavy snow has finally tapered off here just in the last about hour and a half. Uh, we are seeing much calmer conditions again after two straight days of that heavy snow. The radar is finally quite quiet. There are no weather alerts in effect for South Central this evening. A few light snow showers remain in the Susitna Valley. We still have scattered rain showers across Prince William Sound. And all of us will see that potential for some isolated snow showers here over the next 36 hours, but definitely seeing an end to that major storm. Temperatures now at or below freezing for the entire Anchorage Bowl. That means anything that is now liquid on the roads will likely be frozen overnight. Again, record setting snow all piled up on the roads. Meteorologist Jackie Purcell is standing by live tonight in Midtown with a closer look at the conditions there. Now that the snow has at least temporarily stopped, Jackie, how is it out there? Well, Melissa, we are here at a very busy intersection for the city of Anchorage. And uh, yes, it is very rutted at this intersection and very slushy. You can see some of that traffic going through some of that slush. And as you mentioned, it's going to be icy, crusty slush by tomorrow morning. So that's going to be somewhat difficult to deal with. We've seen some pedestrian traffic. We've seen some bike traffic and, of course, vehicle traffic. And this intersection, no accidents that we've seen. And we've seen plenty of snow plows. If Again, look how deep it is. It's almost up to my, my knees. So the pedestrians, they're walking uh, kind of slow. And also, you know who's going to be looking for an easier pathway? Wildlife, moose especially. So do be careful. Those moose are going to be taking to those roads. And also, we talked about have some fun. So we made a little snowman here. It stuck together. Uh, he's kind of surprised that all the snow came. So back, back to you. <laughs> That's an impressive snowman. I like that. Now, that snow, it is a heavy, wet snow, and it is causing numerous power outages across the area. Chugach Electric reported as many as about 5,000 customers without power at one time here in Anchorage and in the surrounding areas. Georgina Fernandez joins us now with a live look outside Chugach Electric with the latest on the power situation there. Melissa, utility says with the ongoing conditions we are seeing right now, the crews in the field were faced with more challenges. Now, earlier today, 14 crews worked around Anchorage to repair outages. The heavy and wet snowfall, the company says, placed a heavy load on the power lines. That and trees touching the power lines are all things the company said could have led to those outages. So we have crews, multiple crews out running from one outage to another, trying to restore them. But often you'll get one restored in one neighborhood and there's another one that triggers a couple. Chugash Electric says with the ongoing conditions we are seeing, we could potentially be seeing power outages into tomorrow morning. Thank you, Georgina. And now to the north and south, we're also seeing heavy snow and in some areas, icy conditions. Tracy Sinclair is keeping a close eye on those roads across South Central tonight. She joins us with a look at the current situation. Tracy. Yeah, Melissa, earlier today, Turnigan Pass was closed due to that heavy snow. It has reopened 
And you can kind of see from the pictures that we're getting, really, there's just a lot of snow still out there. You can see it piled on the sides of the roads. But we're also starting to see some of those wet roads turn a little bit icy, already seeing what was more slush starting to freeze up as you move through the evening hours. We're also moving into the areas around Eagle River. And you know, this area of around the Eagle River Bridge, bridges will often start to freeze up earlier. This is the S-curve out on the Glen Highway. Slushy roads now, but by tomorrow morning, you're going to be dealing with more freezing conditions and still reduced visibility. Thank you, Tracy. Now, schools were closed today, but the term snow day doesn't have the same meaning for kids today that it did for kids of past generations. Steve Kirch is live at Willowcrest Elementary School tonight with how schools are being impacted today. Steve. Kids from this school behind me here were able to stay home today, but they weren't exactly able to go outside and play in the snow. With advances in, in technology, kids are able to learn remotely on snow days. Today I caught up with one teacher from Government Hill Elementary who was reading to his kids from the seat of his couch this afternoon. However, he says one of the downfalls is not all kids have the technology to learn remotely on days like today. However, one student I talked to today who was learning remotely said she missed being in school today because she would did because she misses being in school but she did say she enjoyed shoveling the driveway this afternoon because her dad paid her to do it dad says he likes that his kids are able to learn remotely on snow days it keeps the kids engaged and so when they do end up going back to school um they're not you know not, not missing a beat so and and they're not definitely outside all day which is not a bad thing but it's good to uh keep them engaged A spokesman with the Anchorage School District says all extracurricular activities after school were canceled today, as well as tomorrow's in-service day. Great to see those kids helping out with that shoveling chore. Now, some people did venture outside today, including our own Lauren Maxwell. She's been out most of the day <laughs> listening to what people have to say about all this snow. Lauren, what's the feeling? <laughs> well, that's right. You know, I think as Alaskans, we all know it's coming, but this big, this early, well, it took some of us by surprise. We did speak with some people today who were out braving the weather. Welcome to winter. It's a marshmallow world for sure. <laughs> the snow has arrived. Like it. I'm pretty excited about it. Or not. I was enough before it even started. <laughs> we found most of the folks who were out and about were hard at work. It's really heavy, <laughs> heavier than usual. Have you had enough? Yes, please, stop. <laughs> A thought that was echoed. Less than good. By several more. But others were clearly enjoying the chance to get out and play. Beautiful snow and it slows down the city, which is great. Hey, that's a little too close. <laughs> As for when it will stop... Maybe a couple months after January. Nobody knows whether you're prepared or not. We were hoping to have a little bit more time here. Mother Nature has had her say, it looks like our snow is here to stay. Now, I have to say, I think it's beautiful, especially on the trees. I love how the snow gets all over the trees, but it's a lot nicer when you don't have to shovel it, and you don't have to drive in it, and that's a fact. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, Lauren, nice to look at it from inside out the window. Now we are, again, still seeing chances for some snow showers in the area, but I want to show you the snowfall totals, which represent this storm. 65 inches at Thompson Pass, north of Valdez. That is obviously why the road was closed there for overnight into early today. More than 36 inches of snow in Girdwood, and at times, that was coming down as rain. Into the Anchorage Bowl, it was 17 inches officially there on the west side of town, uh, but we did see as much as 29 inches of snow on the east side of town and a foot plus for those of you in the valley today. Now, again, most of that precipitation has come to an end. We are still seeing rain in Valdez and in Cordova, and all of us will see chances for those isolated snow showers overnight tonight into tomorrow all the way through through Thursday. Again, temperatures dropping below freezing overnight. Really important that you're prepared for those icy slick conditions again Friday morning.